refuse to go to the moon in this decade and do the other things, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that goal will serve to organize and measure the best of our energies and skills. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win.
welcome to the report from Iron Mountain. This report is something you would never believe unless you read it. But you also have to understand the mindset of the government that requested it. And that is one of the most important features of this video. The objective was to determine accurately and realistically the nature of the problems that would confront the United States if and when a condition of permanent peace should arrive. This is one of the key elements of the report because we are to go under, under the Antichrist system, an era of supposed peace. And this is what this whole program was about. If and when a condition of permanent peace should arise, that means that peace in reality equals world socialism, as we will find out as we journey through this report. And they were to draft a program for dealing with this contingency. In other words, this is a planned situation. The program equals the agenda, and how do we control the people of America if we move to an era of peace? And not only just America, but the, uh, the whole world at large. In 1961, Public Law 87-297 was passed, paving the way for the United States to be merged with the United Nations. It's a very crucial law in that it disarms the American citizen in violation of the clear intent of the Constitution, which calls for our right to bear arms to maintain our free state. And by the calling for the disarming of all Americans, of course, we lose our free state and we are submerged actually into a slave state. Uh, the disarming was to be done by a period of gradual disarmament and as they were disarming the United Nations would be built up with a powerful standing army. The evidence suggests a CFR TC Bilderberg connection, the rich men of the earth, the merchants of Babylon, the killers of the just according to the holy scriptures. The report concerns itself with a globalist agenda and the conclusions reached have been advanced by these groups. Every one of the conclusions in, uh, in the Iron Mountain report have been advanced by these groups, Committee of 300, the CFR, TC, Bilderbergers, Royal Institute for International Affairs, Tavistock, your Club of Rome, United Nations, it goes on and on. Okay, it began back in 1950, actually. These hearings uh, began to take place in the United States, and the calls for a world government were actually held in 1950. Here's a resolution uh, in Congress that was considered and called for testimony. 